the game to see the boxing boys. Welcome back, gang, for the first time and hopefully many more to come. Don't forget to subscribe to the YouTube channel and click on the notifications right here, this little bell, so you can get those emails every time we go live. This is Akin AK Jack of Truth. I'm here with Tinder AJ with a big smile on his face. Hi there, sir. The extraordinaire. <laughs> uh, l let me do that again. I'm here with trainer extraordinaire, Mr. Tinder AJ. Hi there, sir. <laughs> Jack the Truth looking sharp two days in a row. I gotta learn how to dress like you, bro. Stop it, stop it, stop it. <laughs> yeah. I'm really good, I'm really good. Uh, the inaugural um, fight at the Royal Albert Hall, um, Anthony Yard headlining. What a devastating show that was. What are your thoughts? Beautiful. As my dad would say in his Yoruba accent, beautiful. <laughs> um, I, you know, I'm, I mean, there's not enough words. Um, there's not enough words to describe how I feel about Anthony. You know, I think this is a young man, as I said from the very start, destined for superstardom. Uh, not just greatness, superstar, because they don't come along very often. You know, you get a Sugar Ray Leonard or Floyd Mayweather and a Roy Jones. I have said from the start, I believe Anthony Yard is of that ilk. And um, I think tonight, you know, I'll be honest with you, Travis Reed's trainer gave me a hug at the end and he said, that boy is the truth. He never said Jack the truth. <laughs> he said, that boy is the truth. Don't let them rush you. That's what he said to me. And I said, everything is timing, bro. It's been that from the start. You know, if we feel it's the right time, it's the right time. Nobody ain't rushing no one. Uh, otherwise, we would have taken those fights last year. Um, who, which Anthony wanted to take, but I had to make the managerial decision that it's not time yet. But after a performance like that, it was great. I mean, Morat 12th round, and he was in a toe-to-toe -to -toe with Travis. And Anthony just controlled that. He just systematically broke him down. You know, I actually, we actually thought it was going to end in the third round. So credit to Travis. I, I went over to him and I hugged him and I said, I just want you to go home safe to your family. You know, it's a sport, and um, I wish you all the best. I've got the video of all of that. I was recording it as you were walking over, etc. so I'll send that to you later. Um, I had the pleasure of speaking to you at the presser, and you said that Anthony Yard's toughest um, opposition is you guys. Uh, I alluded to the training video that uh, Coach Ade uh, <laughs> went, went, went and, and to be honest, based on what we saw then and what we see, see here tonight, Tinder was speaking the truth. How does it feel to feel all your hard work come to fruition? Listen, what you're looking at here is a group of people so united. We we have one goal, one aim. You know, you speak to Tunde and you hear him, you know, gisting, joking, laughing. That's because we're lively, bubbly people. But really, truly, we have a goal, we have an aim, we have an ethos, like I've said before. System 9, Stamina for Cell. You know, we have come together as individuals, but we move together as one unit. And what you've seen today was Anthony. Me, me personally, I thought, as I was looking at Anthony, from the middle of round two, he really started to enjoy himself because he had the measure of his man by there. Um, most people talk about Anthony's knockouts. <coughs> they're great, they're good. He's stopping guys left, right and centre. But sometimes what a lot of things they don't see is his technical ability, his footwork, his eye control, his positioning, the way he throws his punches, he's looking for shots, you know. And like he said, he said, if I went in there and started swinging, I could have got him out in the first round. But boxing's not about that. It's about being sharp. It's not about just putting on a show, but it's also about understanding that every single fight is learning. And, you know, a lot has been made by a captain about how many, um, how many amateur fights Anthony's had. And the reason that we make a lot about that is because when you've only had 12 amateur fights, people look at you as you've just started. To then have 12 amateur fights and then 18 pro fights and fighting against guys who have competed for world titles out of everyone in the world. Normally, on a normal basis, people would say you're not ready yet. But the reason he is, is because he's got knowledge. The knowledge that he's, that he's got has been put into him by Tunde Ajayi. You know, you see us all working hard, 
it's not a one man band show. You know, we've got Captain, Anthony Yard, me, Addy, Bilal, Dari, Killer Cam. We're all moving on the same road. So, you know, people, uh, as Travis Reed's trainer said to Captain, <coughs> don't let them rush you. As I walked out, I won't mention his name, but there was another guy, an official, he said, look, you got are just, you're going in a totally different direction. No need to rush. And it takes a man like T, and I say this honestly, he's got such a strong mind because he has to deal with a lot that you lot don't see behind the scenes. Forget all the social media comments. We're professionals. We can deal with that. In any professional game or sport, you're going to be able to deal with that. That's normal. But there's things that are behind boxing that someone has to deal with. And being a trainer and a manager, not just of Anthony Yard, but Bilal Ali and our whole system, he has to take on a lot and deal with it. And literally, he swims through water, water off a duck's back. So, you know, you've just seen a performance from a guy who is going to be a champion. Not only is he going to be a champion, people are going to talk about him for 10, hmm. 20, 30, 40, 50 come years. On. He, there'll be kids that will come after him and 20 years after this, we say Anthony Yard fought here, Muhammad Ali fought here, and many others fought here, you know. So, we're, we're on a journey. We love it. We literally love it. When, when you hear people like the coach Shabazz say, s s don't rush him, um, stick, stick on your plan, etc., um, is that is that reassurance that you are, are on the right path? Because before the fight, Coach Shabazz has been on the boxer's voice <laughs> saying that um, they've offered this fight and he doesn't really want it, etc., etc. You fo you faced him in, in the in the ring. Th that they've been offered the fight three times and 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 he didn't want it. That Anthony Yard wasn't ready, etc., etc. Um, they offered the fight to us. You're saying they offered the fight to us? No, we offered the fight to them. And they rejected three times, but you know, again, as Adi said, boxing is a very, it's a very funny sport. Mm. Sometimes a promoter may say something to you just to, maybe the promoter doesn't feel that he's ready. You know, we're a unit, so I'm not gonna say he was lying or, but definitely we ain't lying because we ain't ducking or dodging no one. But if a promoter said that to their team, but I'm just trying to clear the air and let you know that we never, I wanted that fight. I think the, the 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 issue was over money, and you got to remember, some of these guys are asking for astronomical money to fight Anthony Yard. Listen, if we ain't getting astronomical money, you ain't getting astronomical money. <laughs> so that's how it's going. So um, I think that um, listen, it's all love. You know, Baltimore guys, Javante Davis is town, and um, yeah, I, I really respect the guy. I went over to him, I hugged him, and I, s I said, get home safe to your family. The, the point I was trying to make by raising that is that it's very easy from the outward looking in to say Anthony Yard is being moved at a pace that is slow. He should be fighting top guys, etc. And if somebody is saying that, that has actually faced, been in the ring with him and he's changed his chin completely, like, don't rush him. This guy is the truth. Surely that is uh, uh, confirmation to you that your plan is, is, is the correct one. I don't need confirmation from no one. <laughs> <laughs> Tunde Jai does what Tunde Jai does. I told you from the beginning. And uh, I've taken criticism for, criticism for 20 years. It just slides off me like I'm doing a dance. <laughs> I, I love it. Because where we come from, it's nothing. You know, but one must be, I always tell these young guys, when you want something in life, there has to be resistance. There has to be. You know, and uh, if you're willing to work hard enough, then it's going to happen. But the reason why his coach said that to me and Adi afterwards is because he's realized that these, probably these young men that he sees on Instagram eating food at YouTube and cracking joke are the real deal. And that's why. And he's actually now become a supporter because he's saying to himself, man, I, I really didn't know that he was that good. And I I've been saying this. I said that the reason why they're saying this is because you haven't even seen 20% of what Andy can do. But Bilal, Deris, Killerman Cam, Ade, we all see it every day. And um, it's a beautiful journey, and um, I, I, I'm thankful to his trainer for saying that to us. I've got a final question. I, I'd like to ask Bilal. Uh, Bilal, <laughs> you are the only other uh, fighter that Tune 
Now, Tilly is taking under his wing. Um, Adit, Coach Ade is, is overseeing your career. How much of an inspiration is it to see um, Anthony actually pull off everything that has gone into the gym? It's a huge inspiration, you know. Um, to be honest, you know. That's your bar, you know. To be honest. Well, to be honest, since I've been in this team, you know, there's been nothing but learning. Um, just going upwards, you know, and um, I'm very grateful to have a team around me that's so um, strong and just know so much about the game, you know, and this man right here, and this man right here, <laughs> trust me, you guys to the top, trust me. Well, we really appreciate your time, gentlemen, and we're definitely on board to see both careers, how they, how they um, come to fruition. Appreciate your time, Lions in the camp. Thank you, bro. You're going to whisper the lines in the camp, is that how we're going to do it? Lines in the camp. Lines in the camp. There we go. <laughs> Appreciate it. Yo, if you enjoyed the video, feel free to hit the like, subscribe, and share. As always, if you want to support us to the next level, head over to the patreon.com backslash the boxing voice. We have tons of exclusive from Border Wars, Entitled, Betting Shows. The list goes on and on and on. But in addition to that, if you guys have questions for fighters, trainers, and promoters, this is where you can submit them. We will run out. Get these questions answered and put it back on the show just for you guys. Appreciate it. Peace.